There we go. Awesome! The shrapnel landed right next to me. If that hits me, I'm pretty sure I die. It's like it's offering it to you. <laughs> the shotgun has chosen its <laughs> new master. This leads to Metro Junction again. But that leads north, which is the way that I need... Oh, no! This is what I'm looking for. Vault Tech Headquarters. Vault Tech Headquarters. Awesome. <sighs> Luke. You're killing me, Luke. But I will find you, and I will get Damn you back. It. <laughs> okay, so let's head into Vault Tech because this is pretty much one of the last locations here, except for the White House and Vault 87, which I'm not sure I can get into. So that will have to be put off for another time, I think. Vault uh, 87. That's uh, remember. that's the radiated one. That's where the super mutants are. Oh. Wait, you mean you're gonna try and get to the entrance of it? Yep. I'm gonna. <laughs> no, no, you you can't do that. No, the um the area around Vault 87 is actually uh, 1,000 radiate rads a second. So we'll see if I can handle it. Is. If if I <laughs> fail, try, if I fail, I fail. But I am. Uh, you're really gonna try it? Why not? It's just going to be like a little, <laughs> like, 15 second run. <laughs> and if I fail, I fail. If I can yeah, get yeah. out of there, I can get out. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. And then I'll be like, well, I tried. <laughs> I, I, at least I'm going to attempt it. And, well, okay. You say so. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of equipment you'd need to try that kind of crap. I mean, uh, power, yeah, power armor has a higher uh, radiation resistance than, than the radiation suits. So I'm just going to have... That's yeah, I mean, what am I on right now? The, uh, the winterized power armor? Red resistance plus 25. And then the helmet gives me plus 8. So that, the radiation and suits... I do think that's even better... If you take your helmet off, you know, it, it doesn't take away all your radiation resistance because, you know, <laughs> it's just like, don't worry about that brain of yours. <laughs> you don't even need it. Don't, don't even worry about it. Damn female robo-brain. Those tumors will make you smarter. <laughs> I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor. Where... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I don't know where I'm supposed to be going in here. I assume there's got to be some, some, something here, something here that's worthwhile. Over here. Ah, oh, two sentry bots. Sentry bots do a little bit of damage on me as well, but they're not nearly as scary as overlords or or reavers at this point. Just grab all their stuff and keep moving. There's got to be something here, right? Some kind of big secret. Like how to keep Luke on Skype without him dropping all the time. There's got to be something like that, right? Where to be a yes. piece of cheese to encourage <laughs> Lemmy Winks. Lemmy Winks needs his food. Lemmy or Winks. maybe a permanent boot in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could do with that right now. <laughs> Kick them in the <laughs> ass and tr strangle small children and kittens in both hands. <laughs> that's that's the that's the extent of my rage. <laughs> I just want you to know that. Oh, but do you, so you have the rage, but do you have the anomaly? <laughs> Damn it! Uh, if only, if only. I have nerd rage. <laughs> just, I can't quite muster up enough to cause a nuclear explosion. <laughs> Oh, what do you mean I can't be a night elf rogue? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean I can't have a chaotic evil paladin? Then <laughs> <laughs> shit explodes. Uh, that was Fallout, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> oh, there we go. 
I was I, I fell down the stairs, so I need to come back up. Or I found I fell down. I do the think hole. that's hilarious that the bodies of the sentry bots are clogging the st stairway. <laughs> yeah, I love how like if they're alive, I can't run past them. But as soon as they're dead, it's like their bodies aren't even there. I can just glitch right on through. <laughs> yeah, it makes well, total sense. See, yeah, there's the whole. I suppose they didn't consider that too much. Well, I mean, the you only need to travel. Enemies in the game are the behemoths, which kind of sucks because I think they could have a few more. You know, I would like. Yeah, the one thing about this game is that they need more enemies. I think I, I don't think they need. They made enough. You've got basically like four kinds of enemies that you can go through in any particular dungeon and like three kinds of each yeah I, I do like uh, I do think that would be cool though like a a massive death claw <laughs> neat. That, that maybe not you know de <sighs> like maybe not exactly behemoth size but make it huge yeah like what'd you say was it a uh, a mother or something like that ah, the stairs I was looking for like a uh, death claw yeah, mother death claw monarch monarch yeah. They could have used an upgraded Deathclaw because Deathclaw should be the scariest thing in this game, but they're they not. They were supposed to be until they started adding, you know, DLCs. Well, yeah, they were. But to be honest, and, and they actually do in New Vegas, and in fact, Deathclaws are the most terrifying thing in that game besides Casadors. <laughs> I don't know what those are. Casadors are just cheap. Death claws are terrifying. <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say about that. Oh. Mostly because if Death Claw can't poison you, you, it just you know it's really fast. And you can't outrun it no matter you, what you do. You can get poisoned. That's yeah. bullshit. Especially in New Vegas, they really worked out the poison mechanic. But oh. uh, yeah. Oh, also. Giant scorpions are actually proven a problem. Really? Because, I mean, in this game, it's pretty yeah, much yeah, they, the... They get really easy, but even even when I got to max level in New Vegas, giant red scorpions are pretty beast. All I've got right, is the, the albino red scorpions, which I've seen take on death claws. I've seen the, the are, sentry bots... I've seen the sentry bots take out death claws. I mean, the the death claws are not the scariest thing in here by far. Okay, I found I found their. You were going to. Their servers. Cool. There's like nothing else in hey, here. Hey, he just unlocked the world. He just unlocked the World of Warcraft server. Everyone <laughs> in the apocalypse says free. Wow! Yay! Woo! There's like Yay. Yeah, there's nothing in here. <laughs> as far as I can see. Oh, speaking of Bowler, I was curious. You said you were gonna do New New Vegas, right? Eventually, yeah. It's not gonna be the next game. Do, uh, I think you should do hardcore mode. I mean, it's not like in impossible as everyone thinks it is. In fact I did it just a few days ago. But it would make side quests really difficult, oh, and I might do that. You might need, might be dying a lot, but it would be really interesting <laughs> because it would give you a huge challenge the entire game. I don't like how you said I might be dying a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, but to be honest, well, yeah, that's just yeah. Th there's like nothing else here. Why did it need a, its own loading screen? No, oh, there's this way. Uh, when I whenever I hear the word hardcore mode, I think of Diablo 2, and I think fuck you, <laughs> because in Diablo 2, um, hardcore mode didn't make the game any harder. Um, it just made you weaker. No, if you died in hardcore mode, your character was gone, forever <laughs> and ever. Uh -oh. So I've had people say, like, well, you haven't really played Diablo 2 until you've done it on hardcore mode. And I just go, fuck you. <laughs> if I die, I want to live. I want to be rezzed. If you die, I, the LP is over. No, like, that would you. be... And, and the worst thing is, is that if 
if your connection goes out or anything like that, which happened to me. I was playing Diablo 2, uh, and um, the la uh, there was a lag spike. Master brain, what the hell is that? And because of the lag spike, I didn't see that my character was getting raped, <laughs> and my character died. So... If it was on hardcore mode, I would have lost like, all oh, my character, yeah, all my oh. stuff, just because you know there was yeah. there was some lag spike just for just for a couple seconds, not enough to disconnect me, just just enough to to make me die. And yeah. there's no way to fix that. Like they they're even talking about it at, for for Diablo three. They talked about that at the uh, at BlizzCon. You know, are you going to be able to fix the the problem that if it was I need a key? If there was lag, uh, my hardcore characters would be gone forever. They're like, "No, how could we fix that?" <laughs> you know, uh, like, sorry, it's oh just man. that's just one of the things you deal with oh. when you have a hardcore character. And I'm like, "Fuck well, hardcore." No. <laughs> yeah. But New Vegas, uh, the, the hardcore mode isn't quite like that. <laughs> no, okay. It just means you need to eat, sleep, and drink, and uh, uh, survive, and whatnot. It's, it makes it into a survival action adventure game. RPG, yeah. Oh. Pretty interesting. I mean, it gives all the... It, <laughs> it makes you run from shit you can't kill <laughs> normally, let's just say that. Um, but don't ever try to run from a death claw. You'll never outrun them. Yeah, those guys leap. Oh my god, do they yeah. leap? Dude, <laughs> dude, I I remember this one time. Okay, there's this quarry uh, where most of them nest. At I ran into a family. Do you hear me? <laughs> Two adults. No, no, it was like four adults. I guess grandma and grandpa. On eight babies, <laughs> and I was just like, "Oh, well, let me just get out, out of here." Then I had to kick the world's tiniest rock, and it rolled down and hit some giant buzzer. <laughs> All of them turned, <laughs> attacked me at the same time, oh. and, I, and I'm dying desperately trying to kill them all. I kill all the babies, and as both adults start to rip my arms apart, I put on stealth boys and try and run, but they somehow <laughs> still smell me, and they keep chasing me across the goddamn Mojave. I just, oh. oh, that was awful. Oh, I, uh, okay, so I, I found one server here that it said that it released some kind of lock, and then there's a door at the end with a key. Do you know where the key is? I don't even know where you are right now. I'm in Vault Tech. Just... Yeah. You don't remember Vault Tech? Did you see a special um, enemy in here anywhere? I saw a Master Brain. M oh. Maybe he has the key. Destroy that? Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> Oh yes, La log into the goo piles computer. <laughs> that ought to do it. Uh, no, it just killed all the all the other ones. It didn't. Uh oh. I don't. I don't understand. Well, maybe there's a button you're missing. Um, I mean, it would have to be down in guest relations, Not but sure. should be up here. Oh, here's number two. Access approval s for section two. Can you do it? I don't know how many sections there are. Can you do it? Do it. <laughs> yeah, there's number one. Six so and I eight. <laughs> I, no, I don't... Th it's not the random numbers again, which I didn't even need to memorize. The the game just like, oh yeah, you, you, you know it. We know you know it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Yeah. That's why that one in point yeah. lookout. Uh, mm. See, no, it still says I need a key, but it says that I can access the mainframe. But I don't know where the fuck the mainframe is. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take care of this next time. Oh. Looks like we're gonna have to end the parts here. 
So yeah, I yeah, hope you guys, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play Fallout 3. I've been Bobby Scuba. This has been Admiral, Sir, uh, Sir Admiral Thunderbolt, and Sir Fox. He could, he, he he was knighted too. <laughs> I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed our special guest yeah. today. Yes, it's been Sir Lucas13. <laughs> nice to have me here now. Oh, hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>